A very good morning once again. It's 11.13. Welcome to your favorite show, The People's Perspective, right here on Lagos Talks 91.3. My name is Ifunaya. And in the studio with me, my co-host, Sheon and Nicola Kokuti. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How's it going, Sheon? Did you miss me last week? I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> yeah, yes, Let's do our job, Wifi. Let's do our job. <laughs> Yeah, Let's be did professional. You did you miss me last week? Yeah, let's be professional. <laughs> I don't say anything. I, I didn't miss you. I did, came here to do my job is and it? I went home. Is it? Really? But those people that went to cre- recross. Are you going to recross? <laughs> and I said girl. that the, the Art Family Emergency. <laughs> 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 the Lord is watching them. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome to today's edition of The People's Perspective. As always, brought to you by Adam and Eve, the Luxury Homeware Store. If you visit their um, website, www.adamevehomeware.com, uh, you'd see the plethora of options that are right there for your um, viewing pleasure from dining to outdoor leather, kitchen, electricals, bed and bath. Um, and as she would say, travelers. You know, uh, as well. Yeah, because they have some really good quality bags, you know. And me going on tour really soon, you know. If you want to buy Sean Kuti a nice gift. And, and like this guy's voice on the radio. It's like Barry White. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> See, just buy me bag. Traveling bag, one set. You know, I would truly appreciate it. <sighs> Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can visit them on Instagram as well, Adam Eve Homeware. Check them out across all social media platforms. All right, let us get into the top stories for the week. Of course, we need to start with one that is still a pressing issue. On Monday, we did see a video released by an aggrieved mother who alleged that her daughter was sexually abused during. The school's participation in the World School Games um, in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. We're talking about Chrisland School. And so the mother came out alleging that her daughter Let was, me just was, cut in there, was, just real quick. You know, parents, except your child is exceptional at sport. Meaning that they are doing that their private school, rich children running together. Because <laughs> if your child is carrying first in private school, mm. trust me, is last in public school. Mm-hmm. The way the poor children are running. Mm-hmm. It's not the same way. <laughs> the rich children <laughs> are, running. are running or playing football. I mean, how many billionaires children mm-hmm. from Nigeria have entered Super Eagles? Do you think it's a coincidence? Do you think we rich children do play ball every weekend? That's true. We play, but when we jab those people that are playing for their life, mm-hmm. it's different. Anyway, I, I know that. except your child is breaking records, mm. you know, literally. Okay. Why would you send your child all the way to Dubai to participate? I mean, what kind of elitism is that? You are not there. You you just send your child to go with your school all the way to Dubai oh, so, for so, some so, international so sports. So yours is the parents should not have done that because their their student their their children are not exceptional that, in sports. That that week the child should just the the good uh, when the exceptional sports students are going, when the school is going tell them your child is going to study. But they know, actually did win medals, you know. <laughs> They won medals, so they were good because this is um, um, against know, other other schools. So this, this, said, this the, students are some, exceptional. The people now. that won medals, yeah. I'm sure they are not part of this scandal. Uh, <laughs> how do you know this? Yes, now. How uh, do you know this? Because you would have known that uh, my child even won gold medal for no, this school. And um, then, um, people are not even parents are not even trying to come out to even say that Lizzie, their children I, are part I of that. I can guarantee. You, I, I have They're a thousand. Not. I have a thousand dollars. I'm saying it right here on the radio. All right. I have a thousand dollars for for uh, for anyone that can prove that these people that were involved in this act mm. in this school yeah were part of the people that won medals for that school. Okay. Well. Before a thousand we, bucks. Before we confirm that, but back to the plot of this whole situation, right? So she came out alleging. She also alleged that her daughter was taking to get a pregnancy test without the consent of the parents. Now, this happened, and um, we did see a video, sadly, which was a video that involved minors. Who, who is the we? Engaging. I did not see any video. You child porn watchers. God forbid. I did not see. 
ahead. Okay, fantastic. Uh, hey, please. So don't as we, I was saying, we as it. I was saying, <laughs> we did see that there there was a video that was released, and in this video, it did involve minors who are engaging in sexual activity, and um, in 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 that in that room, you would see two people, you know, um, engaging in sexual activity, as well as their schoolmates who are just there, you know, watching what was going on. Now, that video sadly was released to the general public and it was being distributed on social media platforms. Now, the mom still did allege that her daughter was being, you know, raped. And when that video circulated or came to light, people then said, you know what, that was being done between two minors. So there was no case of rape in that situation, right? Now, Chris Van did come out with a statement. Um, they we, we did see a letter of suspension that was given to the parents of the girl who was in the video because it was a boy and a girl that were engaging in that said act, right? And Thank, so we did thankfully. see and we did see we did see <laughs> we did see that um, there was a letter that was released. And in that letter, you know, it was a suspension letter. And see Chris what Chris Land said was that they had tried to reach out to the mother so that she as well can consent to the disciplinary act action that the school had decided upon um, for the students that were involved of which the parents of the other students had agreed upon but this said mother she wasn't agreeing and that's the reason why they decided to suspend you know the the girl because people have been saying oh why didn't they suspend others why didn't they suspend the boy why is it just the girl and this was the reason why anyways Lagos state government shut down Chrisland schools in Lagos and also swooped into investigation. And so they have started grilling the Chrisland management as well as the parents over the pupils' sexual acts. And this is as far as they have come in this situation. And this has thrown open a debate. A debate that criticizes parenting in this day and age. You know, people are asking who's to blame. Is it the parents? Is it the school? Is it the students? People are saying, is this as a result of bad parenting? No, nah, it's society. It's Nigerian society. Nigerian society and media, we've let ourselves down in this country in, in many more ways than one. You know, when you think you are America, mm. you think you are England, you see them, you know, um, you see the things that they, the images that they used to promote the commercialization of mm. everything in their lives. Yes. And you copy those images. Indeed. But you don't understand that in those societies, they put a lot of safety mechanisms to make sure that, oh, you can do it, but don't try. Mm. Because if you do, we will get you, mm -hmm. you know. And even for the children, mm -hmm. you understand, S lyrics are censored. You have to put the sign on the song. Exactly. Explicit. And exactly. parents, children are just not allowed anywhere near this kind of mm -hmm. you know but you know children being children in this day and age of the internet those things but you know we copy too much to the extent that you know it's getting to our own destruction the copy copy uh, is destroying us now so a month ago it was that some children were in gang mm. and poisoned one other student mm. because he refused to join cult in a high school yes same thing now again you mm -hmm. know Funny enough, my daughter was in Chrisland. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, you know, as me, as I always tell people, I work directly with the ancestors. Mm. You know, I'm on Ancestor Secret Service. <laughs> Detail. Mm, okay. You know, these are the, the ASS. <laughs> yes. If you follow Bed's Eye View, you know all about the ASS. ASS. The right. Ancestor Secret Service. Okay. Yes. So, they had given me four, no, since over to take your daughter out of Chrisland. <laughs> It's true. I mean, this is... And I don't... Once they give me the information, I don't second guess straight out of Queensland. And before you people think it's because of the school fees, we went to an even more expensive school. Oh, fantastic. So don't worry. Wow. Uh -huh. This is ancestor Big secret bird. service. Mm -hmm. I want Africans to... You know, we have to go back. Mm. You know, be one with our ancestors. Get m weekly messages like bulletin mm -hmm. of the future. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't have to so tell you everything. So how often do you get these bulletins? Weekly, weekly, weekly bulletins. All right. So of is, the there, is there a particular time and place? Let's know. Like how no, we no, no, no. It, it is um, uh, the ancestors. You know, the they are they are not busy. Okay. Like Jesus and Muhammad. 
What do you mean by that? Too many people. My Jesus is not busy. Uh, have you been to uh, like ah. an embassy before when they are putting those too many requests? It's not that he wants. It's not that he's busy. Yeah, too no, busy for my, you. My, my, my Jesus is big enough to all to, of you to, are special to, take to me. All those uh, exactly, requests. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's why he's busy. He has to he's not busy. Them. No, he's not busy. Not Muhammad busy. safety, but you see the ancestors. Mm. Nobody is asking them what. <laughs> Nobody is there. <laughs> so we few that are there. Before we even ask, in ah. fact, so my ancestor secret service mm. detail, you know, all I have to do is I determine when I need. Okay. They are so free. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Ah, so no, I took my daughter out of that school already Hi. because there was something I don't want to go into that, but there's something I see in you know Lagos high society okay. that I was already seen in the school and I knew it was not going to be anything but toxic for the children oh, wow. and so I pulled my people. kid out and, but you also some people like that, that thing but I yeah. just don't like that kind of unnecessary as we say afefe ye ye what, that, what does that mean I don't know how to say it in, in English. English. I, I get but it. Afe, fe, ye, ye. But you also remember that this same school was embroiled in such a, a scandal. Yes, with the teacher. With That's the it. Listen, teacher and wait, and let me finish. So, you see this, uh, our children, mm. what is pushing them into violence? We are caught, we are gangsters. We are criminals, basically. Mm. Mm-hmm. What is making the girls over sexual lives? Yeah. You know what's going on? Yeah. You know, we find out that they are trying to be cool. We society, we as a society, we have misdefined cool to our children. Yeah. What is going on in Nigeria now is peer pressure. Yeah. Take away the see, don't blame parents, especially with the kind of country we live in, and they are putting child. Wait, listen. That I'm sure the child, no parents say their child to go to school and have sex. Mm. You, you understand? So let us all just get off our high horse first, take deep breaths. Mm. The school, yes, they are doing their best too. But what is cool is what drives children. Mm. All children want to be cool. And if you are telling children, and this is where the media comes in, if media has been promoting those people that uh, uh, showcase a criminal lifestyle, showcase a, a over-sexual, hyper-sexualized lifestyle, and you promote those people as the role models to these young people. What do you want them to do? Mm. You don't want young people to be cool. Mm-hmm. Peer pre- See, when I was a kid, whether you want to... Uh, Frederick Nietzsche said it all. Nietzsche said the greatest tragedy of man is that he was once a child. Wow. He had to be a child to be then become... I mean, and he's, and he's, because right now we want to start acting like we were not children before. Mm. And we didn't know that it's everything your parents didn't like that was cool. Mm. And to be cool, you had to participate one way or the other. Sometimes to the detriment of your yash when you got home. Uh-uh. The strokes <laughs> that your parents will unleash <laughs> and you go out the day you will say the truth <laughs> mm. just to continue living your cool life, you know. So, we we as, we we as are the ones letting our children down. What happened to the boy is statutory rape. What happened to the girl is statutory rape, as they all say. Whether it's kids performing it, they don't know what they... They don't really yeah, understand, yeah. you know? I mean, what does a 10-year-old and 13-year-old understand about sex? Yeah. Other than they want to just be moving their body and be feeling some sexation. They don't understand the connection. Mm. Eh? You see, and we are losing what it means to be African because, you see, this is why in Africa, boys and girls had what was called the rite of passage. Mm. A boy had to go through certain things to be a man. Mm. A girl had to go through certain things to be a woman. Mm-hmm. Among those things was him understanding what it meant to meet with a woman. Mm-hmm. How to treat that woman. How to I mean, what do you think the African women could go around half naked yeah. for centuries and not mm. we don't have we did not have a epidemic we didn't have oh, a word right. for rape mm. in our languages. Mm-hmm. It is the rite of passage. People actually grew up. You end you didn't just grow up and say because you've lived long, you have mm-hmm. grown up. Mm-mm. You have to earn the right to be an adult. You have to earn the right to do any single thing in society. Because nothing is just like that. But we are living our life like it's just like that. It will fix itself. Because we want to make money. We are putting negative images constantly in the faces of our children. We are teaching them how to be cool in toxicity. Mm. You understand? And then when we now see the reflection of ourselves in their action, we start complaining. Yeah. We start blaming and, everybody. And, 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 but what we should blame? We need to stop this. Because I said it one time. BBC yeah. 2 came to me after that 
who uh, cultism in okay. secondary school okay. trying to pin some Nigerian artist mm, as yeah I don't want to name the name of the artist you know okay. but they wanted to pin them that okay these people have been promoting this cult image yeah, and, yeah. okay but yes but who picked those people as role models mm. who plays their music 25 times a day okay. uh, what is a day sorry 25 times per hour yeah on the radio who who, who does that is it them that do, do it or you the media they are not coming yet you want to just absorb yourself of, yeah, the blame of the blame and put it on the artist's head no you are the ones that whether you like it or not a decision is made in nigeria in the high echelons of mm. the board meetings mm. of of this entertainment media especially mm. the media mm. and not only the media let's remember that we also have the religious institutions here okay. who continue also to uh promote this criminal minded people as some kind of you know promote criminality as the anointing of mm. god that oh don't question the god has the blessed anointing. somebody okay so if all the people god god is blessing in our country all behave this certain way then what do you expect from young people yeah uh, um, um, what you have said is very apt i would also like to draw our attention because at the moment we don't have a definitive cause of what happened you know because investigation is still being carried out however we know that there's also a possibility that this could be a case of child abuse and i say this because these are still minors and child abuse is not just limited to physical abuse it's not just limited to you know in terms of sexual abuse it's not just limited to there being an adult you know carrying out um, inappropriate acts with children Part of abuse is also neglect. And we also have to identify that there's a possibility that neglect could have played a role in that. And underneath ne neglect, you have lack of supervision, right? Because the truth is, from zero to six is your formative years. For some people, they say zero to 10. That after the age 10, a child begins to give you every single thing that you have fed them as a society, as a parent, as teachers, or whatever the case might be. There's a possibility that this could also has, ha, um, have been as a result of neglect where this young girl having access to social media, having access to all this content, like you mentioned, that is over sexualized, not being able to get the supervision that she needs from her parents, from teachers, from the adults in her life or in his life as well. Because like we know, this act was being done by both boy and girl. And so this could also have been a result of child abuse in terms of neglect in terms of lack of supervision yes we know that it's cool to have a phone we know that oh a lot of children around the world have access to tiktok have access to these different platforms people are making child stars out of these different um you know children who happen to be good with tech or who happen to be good with making content or whatever the case might be but where do you draw the line as a parent as a parent we understand that you're trying to you know, make a good life for your children and you're trying to go out there to hustle so that your children could be, you know, taken care of. But where do you draw the line when it comes to ensuring that you are part and parcel of your child's life, what your child has access to, what your child is being fed, the eyes, the ears, the surrounding of the child as well? Because that's one thing that we need to take a look at in society today when it comes to parenting, when it comes to supervision of, of children. It takes a village, Ify. You know, um, Nigerian parents, you know, go through a lot. Nigerians, I think, it takes a village. Indeed. It takes a village, you know, for a Nigerian person to try and raise a child here with dignity. Indeed. You know, put your child in a good school, live in a good house, to try and hold on to your humanity. That alone is a full-time job yeah, in itself. Yeah. I mean, that alone takes nurturing. Uh, to be uh, caught, uh, nurturing, attention, yeah. everything it yeah. takes to raise a child, you need to just live, give a standard of living for that child too. You know, so we, in we as a society, we need to help each other out more. Mm. You know, we need to be more honest also because many people, you see, just to act rich, are living in serious debt. True. Because they are ashamed of poverty. Mm. There's a stigma to being poor. You understand? But, I believe, as I always say, that the answer to the breakdown of public education mm. is not private education. Mm. 
I mean, it was so clear during NSAS, but I was so, I'm amazed that Nigeria, a country with so many brilliant minds, that we couldn't see this, we couldn't put our finger on this, seeing the way the people that they call hoodlums, mm-hmm. the ignorant, ran riots, as they said, but we, we have private school, what happened? We have to fix our public educational system. Yeah. So that we as parents also have a say in how these schools are run. Not just to drop our children with people and trust them. Yeah. You understand? You know? Anyways, uh, please feel free to join the conversation. If you'd like to comment on this story that we have touched on, you can give us a call on 0809-234-5913. You can also call 01-515-0913. 0-1-515-1913. On WhatsApp, it is 0809-234-5913. And on Twitter, it is at Lagos Talks 913. Please ensure that you use the hashtag the Dish Lagos. Oh, sorry, the People's Perspective. I'm definitely used to that hashtag. Use the hashtag the People's Perspective. If you're sending a tweet at Lagos Talks 913. Uh, this one is coming from listeners saying Afefe yeah, yeah, means vain glory. Aha, uh-huh, yes, 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 showing off. Show off. Yeah. Okay, yeah, someone also said Razmataz. Uh, this one is coming from Bami Dele saying, I blame Big Brother Show for paying big money to people that are having sex on open TV. That is why children think it is cool to have sex with each other openly but me like beg to differ and i disagree because all these things come with parental guidance it's just like saying that you blame every adult content that exists right now for what's going on amongst children and that's the reason why children need guidance so if you're just blaming big brother which clearly is rated a 18 and these children are 10 and 13 I wonder what else we could possibly bring in, in terms of adult content. My issue is not Big Brother. My issue is society that takes people that have been in Big Brother and make them role models. Mm. Because when they leave Big Brother, that's if you leave them alone to go and stay in their house. And that's the reason why you parents turn them need to, to superstars and, and role the, models the, the, the and things like the that. The reason so. why parents need to be to be careful to not allow their kids have role models like that. That's the reason why guardians as well should ensure that. They do not allow their kids have role models like that. They shouldn't be glorifying that, especially in front of their kids. Exactly, it's true. But what, what uh, uh, in this in this country that we're living in, every wedding is the same music, is the same images. Mm. Every event you go to is the same music, the same images. Mm. Everything is the same, you know. So I mean, what, what can the parents really truly do? And this is what we are saying is cool. This is my, this is what I'm saying again. Children just want to be cool. They have no and nothing else bothering them in life except being the cool kid, the coolest kid. Cool is defined by adults, not by children. Children just follow what we tell them is cool. So let's. Re- <laughs> this is coming <clears throat> from Old <throat> Phase on Twitter saying Christian schools actually have serious programs for sports like basketball, football, and athletics. Um, and I even heard they even have scholarship for indigent students with talent in sports. Although I haven't ah, heard those verified. are the ones that won the medal. And uh-huh. then he said, "No, <laughs> that's not true. It's not true. I, I don't believe." The poor, and the then poor he said, kids run yeah, I, don't, "I don't think I'll so." I'm telling you, and they he run said, different. The Christian school scandal shouldn't be treated in isolation because we have a huge sex problem in Nigeria. At least telcos, Google. And all these other websites have been telling us these things in the past five years. If you or more. open your bag, if I don't go see Odugu Bitas. My bag? Open your bag. You will never. There's Odugu Bitas you inside. Can this, never. As in, I had to post something like three years ago. I never see that. Is in it my only bag? sex herb that is in the forest? <laughs> because, I, I, I mean, not <sighs> even painkiller. We have not even bottled painkiller herb. Yes, There's more than 500 mm-hmm. brands mm-hmm. of sex herb. Mm-hmm. In, in Nigeria, and, I mean, that, that just and you are complaining that children are doing something. When you, you come home as a child, you look at your father's your father's back pocket. There's alobo bitters. Never. No, not you. I said it just uh, uh, hypothetically uh, speaking. Hi- hypothetically speaking, that some children in Nigeria they come home and you know you just see your father sipping on alobo bitters, yeah. action bitters. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the 
quote and unquote, those beaters, are they just directed towards Yes now that only that don't you, don't you see the adverts? I don't see the adverts, ah, my sister, so I don't know. <laughs> because you you are you have two dogu beaters. <laughs> it's like your bag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not open that bag, let me just tell you. My guys. bag is not even here. Uh, hey. But you already know where my bag is, Shell. Inside that office. Go and open it. And you see. No, I don't want to see inside yeah. your bag. I'll be heartbroken. <laughs> now you use your dogu beaters and you didn't call me. <laughs> That's terrible. First of all, I don't even know what that is. Um, secondly, I, 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 I'm confused. We, um, we, are, we are leaving the people's perspective, if you okay. come back to the show. But I don't know what I don't know what that bitters is now. Is it that it's teaching me all these things? <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, we're gonna be moving on to the next uh, topic that we have for today. But before that, remember that uh, the people's perspective is brought to you by Adam and Eve, the luxury home wear store. We're gonna take a very quick break right after that. Let's get into the pardons that we have been talking about in the news lately. Stick around. All right, welcome back. It's 11.41. It is still your favorite show, The People's Perspective, brought to you by Adam and Eve, uh, the luxury home wear store. And their vision is to inspire luxury living defined by comfort, elegance, and creativity. And they say that they do this by providing luxury lifestyle products with excellent and expert retail service in an inspiring space. And like Sheung says, the feng shui. Yeah, feng shui your function. life. All Bring right, balance. Bring balance, yeah. indeed. Okay, so um, we've been seeing in the news that the president at the Council of State meeting on the 14th of April granted pardons under the prerogative of mercy to Joshua Dari of Plateau State and Jolin Yame of Taraba State, both serving various jail terms from his preparation of funds. Now, this move, of course, has attracted very harsh criticism from Nigerians nationwide, with many saying that the president has officially pulled out of the anti-corruption fight. We know that um, the presidency in Abuja <laughs> said that this pardon was granted to 162 inmates, which, of course, includes the former governors of um, Plateau and Taraba as We well. don't care about the remaining 159. The statement, <laughs> the statement that was released is, uh, uh, it was titled Dari Nyame Pardon in line with constitution will not derail anti-corruption war by President mm. Buhari. And it's read in part, and I quote, the presidency wishes to throw light on the recent note presented to the Council of State on the report of the Presidential Advisory Committee on the Prerogative of Mercy as a culmination of a process begun by convicts and others concerned in line with the constitution. Wow. It explained that sections 175 one of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended and joins the president's exercise his constitutional powers to grant any person concerned with or convicted of any offense created by an act of the National Assembly a pardon either free or subject to lawful conditions to grant respite either for an indefinite or a specified period of the execution of any punishment imposed on that person for such an offense and it reads a whole lot more now we Mm. know that like i mentioned this has um attracted a lot of criticism because on one hand they're saying that the buhari government came in with the mantra that they were going to fight corruption of which we have not necessarily seen any progress towards and on the other hand, they are pardoning these once governors who clearly went to jail for misappropriation of funds. So, Shao, I'm sure you have a whole lot to say about this. No, I mean, I'm not even surprised, you know, um, that he's um, willing to... It's election time. Some of the money these men are sitting on will be needed. You know, uh, they are... Uh, political thugs, you know, in their constituents will be needed. Their influence, you know, to play this politics that they play. You know, it's why they are, you know, it's the, the, it's like two generals locked up. So you need them back on the chessboard. Interesting. You know. But I really wonder, what what, what um, jail were they serving jail time? Uh, I think they were both in Kuji. Okay. I mean, not be Abuja, they will put them. Mm. Better prison. 
And can and can anyone Wait. actually uh, even be sure confirm they in that they were they were Listen, in there? I don't even, I me. Mean, I don't like going that way because okay. you know we can't prove it. Yeah, no. I'm just saying. I was like, can anyone confirm that? Uh, you know, any that tweets? Would any be... pictures for on Instagram? <laughs> like just I went to greet my dad today. <laughs> hey, you know, live in Kujai. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But what I know, what I what I know for a fact here is, Dasuki has been in prison since. Um, Buhari became president, base. Mm. I, I mean, maybe give or take some few months. And you know how many courts have actually asked the president to release this man that there's no charge, there's no evidence. But because of his personal vendetta with Dasuki, because Dasuki was the one that arrested him out of office in 1986, this man has refused absolutely refuse to listen to the courts of this country. ECOWAS courts don't talk. Federal high courts don't talk. High courts don't. Deaf ear. Tasuki is still in jail. Now, someone, two men that have offended millions of Nigerian people, mm. that have stolen our commonwealth, that has killed, these people have killed people because you cannot tell them that you misappropriate fund for anything that did not lead to or, or avoidable death is the problem i have in this country is that the amount of avoidable deaths nigerians still have to yes, die yes uh-huh. and this is what co- this is the highest contributor to that phenomena hmm. misappropriation of funds by powerful people and that doesn't affect buhari hmm. exactly no matter the funds that Darie or what's that other one's name Nyame. Nyame, misappropriate Buhari and his children's life can never be affected or affected in any way by that. So it is not an atrocity to them. It's an atrocity to the Nigerian people. So a council of states that mm. is not even a court mm. can issue a, a, a advisory to the president. Says, oh, yes! <laughs> you have, you have uh, advised me and I have accepted your advice. And I shall release uh, these uh, two criminals to join back into the society uh, for your advice with a court order. I don't hear a court order. Uh, court order, so... I'm deaf. Oh. Court order, I don't understand. <laughs> court order, I don't see, I don't respect. <laughs> with your advice uh, from the council, council of state of fellow criminals like <laughs> myself. <laughs> Who are the people in this council of state? Why didn't they name their name? So that we can, at least for historical purposes, at least know their own contribution to this. Let's be naming these people, even if we cannot do anything to them. Let's name them so that we can write their name down for posterity. Mm. Let everybody know the roles they are playing in this country. No, it's true. Because obviously, nobody cares about who is destroying this country. Nobody cares. I still posted yesterday that you have one passport, one nationality. You are supporting somebody that has two passports to destroy Nigeria. You know, say your own mumu. It is run laps for Dubai or high school games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sheo. It's true. Oh, my goodness. But, 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 Sheo, you see what, what really bothers me the most is yesterday I, I did um, report on a story, and this happened in Undo, and this was an Undo magistrate's court ruling. And this was towards um, a 35 year old man who was caught stealing palm oil that was worth 20,000 naira. And he was sentenced he's going to, jail. to six years he's in going prison. To jail. Six years in he's prison. He's going. You steal palm and just oil. Just juxtaposing it with how you know members of political office who have been found guilty or who are clearly guilty of embezzlement or the, fraudulent the, the activities. The same bastard thugs. The same bastard thugs in Oshodi that will hail Oluomo and carry Tinubu up and down the place are the same people that will burn somebody for stealing twenty naira wow. in that same Oshodi. Don't you understand this? What these people sense and mentality so this is the image so president Naz, i mean then our children will not be aspiring mm. towards some kind of criminality you start blaming the school you start blaming the parents when we know everything is about reward and incentive wow. in this world you know it's we as children are not crazy they are not stupid they see what we as a society reward you know, we, they see the kind of people that we give endorsements, the kind of people on the billboards, the kind of people that the corporations embrace, the kind of people that are made in this country. Because nobody really 
makes it in this country. People are made here. Nobody can tell me anything. 95% of success stories here was given. It was given. You know, I mean, yeah, you can look at any story. It was given. Only a few people in this country actually work mm. to make something of themselves. Very few. You know, very, very few. You know, and the children see these things. They see it. You know, so they, and they understand it. They, they understand it, you know. So, anyway. <sighs> All right. Um, Should we take some calls? We're not taking any calls today. Please feel free to join the conversation. What yeah. are your thoughts about these stories that we shared? 0809 so 0809 On WhatsApp, it's 0809 5913 and um, if you want to send a tweet it's at Lagos Talks 913 using the hashtag the people's perspective this is coming from a listener saying I attended a one year old birthday party earlier this year where they had a dance competition it was shocking to see the kind of sexually provocative dance moves that these kids were pulling and their parents kept cheering them it is appalling. Children below the teenage bracket were singing these songs word for word like they were in the studio with the artist. Uh, this is from a listener saying, um, Hi, Ify and Big Bird, please, what happened in the advent of um, cane in schools? We as a society have sped the rod enough. Then it was the community that builds a child now. And if the community criticizes the child, the parents would raise their fangs. To be honest, we are all... To be blamed for this uh, issue. Flogging is not the answer. It is not. I feel like that's oh, per- well, personally, that's, but that's lazy parenting. And yeah, well. I mean, we all be we've all been flogged here now. Did he did he Look make did he make us a better uh, people? Uh, no, that's a, that's a good example. Uh, this is coming from Mark saying, "My view is that this girl seems so experienced, meaning that wasn't her first time." Um, Ola is saying, "I really enjoyed your analysis. We have or we've thrown away everything that belongs to Africa. Our systems." that work for us our our region and child upbringing now we are trying to be cool the big bird's only problem is that he too sabi uh tunji is saying dasiki was granted bill in 20 24th of december 2019 muidin is saying big bird you will hear from baba's lawyers for mimicking him <laughs> uh this is coming from uh a listener saying Good morning, if you and Shewo and Michael. Okay, government pardon, indeed. No arrest whatsoever has been made by the government to Commodore Olanion after what he reviewed. Instead, Femi Adishina said that the government is not after naming and shaming of the sponsor. That means all the man said was all true. Yet, we continue with our daily activities. Do you know the kind of bombardment federal government would have given him or anybody if the allegations were to be false? Our federal government and state government are nothing but dash, dash, dash. This is coming from I can't see it well. Maybe he said blood suckers there. Ah! Did he say blood suckers? I'm not sure. sure. This is coming from Bami Dele saying, um, if you can disagree with me all you want, but the buzz that is in town when this show is on is undeniable. The amount of money Nigerian youth spend on voting for the candidates is proof of this. And this differently directly impacts the youth, kids included. To make matters worse, you guys bring them to your radio shows as if they have contributed meaningful to the society. I agree with Sheon. The media has failed us. Well, Bami Dele, if you've been listening to what the media has presented, we have different shows. And that's the reason why there would always be different content. It is It behooves you as a parent and as an elder or guardian to ensure that you are manning exactly what your kids have access to. Be the gatekeeper. Okay, we understand that. Yes, indeed. And I do agree. It is a societal, you know, uh, um, should I say, uh, uh, um, responsibility. However, there would always be content for adults. That is something that is going to be never ending. But what is the age restriction? And what are you doing personally in your own sphere of influence to ensure that the age restrictions are being adhered to? If if you're trying to to shut down content that is for adults, because... My adult problem is adult not big brother. content is adult content. Just my problem is not uh, this music or images or anything. My problem is the fact that this is all we have. If Nigerian people also had some kind of show that young people go in the house to try and solve Nigeria's problem, and there's also Big Brother, 
for me there's no problem then that's balance the fact that we don't have this other side mm. you know it's like when they say black people are like crabs in the barrel mm. uh, we are all pulling ourselves down i always say because we are not supposed to be in the barrel in the first place the barrel is not the natural habitat of the crab if you put the crabs on the beach that is their natural habitat they are helping each other get to the sea you know the barrel is the problem here so it's not that the big brother we are, who is watching big brother or not watching <laughs> the problem is that this barrel that puts us in just this barrel we have nothing else young people have no other so that for me is the issue that even young people that want to express some positive ideas some, have no platforms there you, go. you know there so you we go. need to invest as much as society invests in these shows and things that we all now turn around and complain mm-hmm. we should also invest in those things that we say and we know that are good i like that and this is coming from a listener who clearly has been itching to say the same but if you're speaking from two sides you practically glorified big brother characters you're a huge fan even dedicating a show reality radio but you're an adult now and, and, and you see that's the thing you, you see you you make such a statement and thinking that you've made a lot of sense but clearly you haven't because like i mentioned it is adult content If you are an adult and show that those that are around you who are kids do not have access to this. You know, in as much as on one hand we're trying to strike a balance, don't also embrace lazy parenting because you as an adult should not take your attention elsewhere, leaving your kids having access to an influx of of information and of 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 all the 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 data out there and then you come and blame other people you know and i feel like it's the blame game that's going on here that people are not taking responsibility if we all say that it is a societal responsibility where do you play a role as a parent the, the access that you're giving to your children um, the phone that you're giving di- to your parents are not disciplined to your, to, yeah. to, to, to your children and your you're here just to say to blame. their children like oh big brother is bad but they want to watch it there you go you in uh, front of their kids as well not, I, i mean if it is bad if you're telling your kid that something is bad for them then you must at least for your children's sake abstain i remember kids don't do what you say they do what they yeah. see you do me there are many things i want to do but because of my daughter exactly. i just have to abstain like since i had my kid i don't even go out much You know, I don't want my kids seeing me coming home drunk in the morning and then I'll be the same person that is telling her hey don't be drinking when she's a teenager now nah, that's not going to work You know, I want to drink responsibly now that I have kids. I don't want them to see me coming home in the middle of the night except I have a show. You know, so this is for me is the sacrifices we also have to make that many parents don't want to grow into. Many parents still think they are, in, they are teenagers too. Mm-hmm. You know, they want to party, they want to dress fine, they want to be cool, they want to be doing all these things that their children are doing. Exactly. You, you know? see, everybody needs to hold themselves accountable. Parents are also on TikTok everybody. doing dances. Everybody, everybody, everybody. You everybody. Even, even, even to tell you how, and 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 to also to to to, to tell you how I um, I'm also holding myself accountable. Even when I was doing Big Brother on air, never did I bring raunchy content. That was happening because I could. Do you understand? I'm an adult and it's my job. You, you however, <laughs> but however, <laughs> I, I'm holding. To the show. <laughs> no, I'm holding myself accountable to ensure that whatever content that I'm, I, I am as well putting out there is a content that somewhat inspires and uplifts as well. I hold myself accountable. But this is me as an adult. You as an adult. What, you, what are you doing? How are you holding yourself accountable rather than just throwing blame? Saying it's big brother. Is what are you doing in your community? Helping the little children out there to ensure that they're not being exposed to these things. If you can give us facts and data, we'll be here to commend you. So let's not all throw blame out there. Let's all take responsibility and accountability to the role that we play in society for the betterment of society. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's, in Nigeria, there's a serious uh, hatred for accountability. You know, I mean, not only in Big Brother and all this that we are seeing now. Okay, look, for example, as we say on the show, how is Nigerian money laundered? Mm-hmm. without the help of bankers there you go but if you tell your banker friend this one you feel attacked even though he knows he has not that money that day you feel attacked and be acting as if he doesn't know what you are saying and uh, you are just being a uh, uh, naive he has to make a living and all these excuses we all give you know i mean he's okay to say that oh we are in the media if he's in the media and if he's contributing we oh, are all please. contributing to this Oh, well, we must change. I think it's a thing that we, as a whole, not just exactly. saying exactly. We must. Let's change. all come together and do it. Let's we all come together on one side. 
you know, due to the whatever brainwashing we have, you know, we are enjoying this toxicity, promoting this toxicity, actually claiming that this toxicity is the best thing that we have. Then we turn on the other side and complain when we see the repercussion. You can't, uh, you know, you can't pick and choose. We can't pick and choose. That's all come together, you know, and, and that's the thing that choose. we've seen in, in when it comes to also politics as well and governance. The same people that came out talking about how we needed to do better in terms of the people we're voting into office. What was the voter turnout like the last elections? And remember, that came off the back of people constantly having conversations on social media, this and that. And then you wouldn't go out, you wouldn't vote, but you would stand and begin to criticize. What are you doing? How are you actively a part of making Nigeria a better place? As opposed to just here, standing here criticizing, what are you doing? We all must do better. I mean, that's what we have to take away from today's show. And also, uh, uh, we also must take away the fact that uh, uh, our president must obey court orders <laughs> as he's obeying Council of State advice. <sighs> I mean, this country now, wow. This country now, wow. I fear. <laughs> all right, guys. This is where we're going to be wrapping up on the people's perspective for today. Big thank you to everyone who was a part of the show. And thank you to Adam and Eve. The luxury home wear store, like I did mention, they have said that their vision is to inspire luxury living defined by comfort, elegance and creativity. And they do this, uh, according to them, by providing luxury lifestyle products with excellent and expert retail service in an inspiring space. You can visit them at number 8 Isaac John Street in Ikeja GRA as well as their website adamevehomeware.com Big Bird, before saying goodbye, any words? Uh, well, my uh, Instagram handle is still Big Bird you, uh, We have a new YouTube page now. Show and Nicola Bukuti. Go and please subscribe to the page. Uh, there's a uh, on Twitter at Real Show Kuti and facebook she won club quickly as well so yeah all right guys you can reach out to me on instagram and twitter at ify underscore i that is i f y underscore i follow lagos talks at lagos talks 913 across all social media platforms we are lagos talks 91.3 let's talk